Hi guys, welcome to the Spartan Center. I'm about to do a master class or a couple of different uh, aspects of batting that I'm going to go through. By popular demand, I get, keep getting asked, can you please go back and do something different, do something different, do something different. I've done some fantastic master classes uh, on some brilliant networks over the last couple of years, but I just think it's right that I go out and I formalize exactly what I want to do, how I do it. I've come to the end or I'm almost at the end of a very long career. And I'd just like to give you guys a few tips on what I think has been, um, for me, quite a successful 10 years of international cricket. I've played four years now of T20 cricket on the franchise circuit. I played three or four years of uh, T20 cricket leading into that four years. And I've done 20 years as a professional cricketer. So I'm going to go through a range of shots. I'm going to start off with the front foot. I'm going to talk front foot. And you're going to get what I'm talking about and it's going to be very simple because that's how I like to keep it and that's how my career has been. It's been very, very simple. A few real good work ethics that drive me to be successful that I wanted to do to make myself successful. But at the end of the day, it was about keeping things incredibly simple. Now we're going to go into the front foot. The front foot is all about, and you're going to hear this a million times because I think that it is the most important thing about batting. The head is the heaviest part of your body. Now you think about it, if your head goes in a certain direction, your feet have to go in a certain direction. If my, if my head goes backwards, my feet go backwards. If my, if my head goes to the side, I go to the side. So the head is the heaviest part of your body. And I'm going to say this a number of times because head position when batting is key. Head position is the most important. You get your head into a great position. You can do anything with your body, with your hands. Use your hands. Your feet will go. We're going to throw some balls now. I'm going to hit some balls on the front foot. And you're going to see how I play off the front foot. You just throw me some ball bodies on the front foot and I'm just going to hit some balls on the front foot. Josh? Yeah. There is a perfect, perfect example of a ball pitching one outside off stump. My foot here is on leg stump. But I was in total control of where I was hitting that ball because my eyes were over the ball. And guess what? I can place the ball where I want to place the ball. I placed that into a gap. Because scoring or batting is about scoring runs. Not interested in how, it's how many. But to get to the how many part, you gotta do the right things. And it is so, so very simple. There was a brilliant example. I mean, I couldn't have hit, could have hit 20 balls and not got my message through. That first ball showed a message. My foot's on leg stump, head's in a great position, bang. I can control it through a gap and score four. My feet wasn't hit. I wasn't there to hit it like that. So I don't subscribe to the foot to the ball. Foot goes to the ball if your head goes to the ball. Let's do another one. There's another one again. My foot was a little bit further across because I picked the line a little bit quicker. But still, the ball was out there. I kept the ball in line with my right eye and I was able to place the ball. So the key to batting, head. The other key, which I've just talked about now over the last uh, 30 seconds or so, positioning the ball and picking the gaps. The best players in the world pick gaps. That's what they do, and they do it regularly. The best players also manipulate the ball and are able to rotate strike. So we'll just do a couple more here. We're gonna just put some cones, cones out. In the cones, you can just see about finding gaps and placing balls. So mid-off is straight ahead. So if I'm hitting that cone, or in and around that cone, that's no good. If I'm hitting that cone there, that's an extra cover. That's also no good. I want to be dissecting those cones, hitting it straight through the middle of that. And the only way that I can do that is by getting myself into a head position to consistently do it. Now I strive for consistency. I could do it once, twice, three times out of 10, Like that. I can do it eight or nine times out of ten. Like that. 
So we're just going to hit some balls and look for placement. Watch my head. Bang. 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 That last shot was a ball that landed probably just short of a length, but because I was in such a good position, I was able to adjust my hands to hit it through the offside. That's about being in position early too. So, yes, you've got to have a good head. Head's got to be in a great position. Your eyes got to be in a good position too. So all about scoring runs. That's what I did in my whole career. It was all about scoring runs. I remember playing my, um, my first test match. Well, I played a couple of the one days against South Africa and I got runs in the one day series in South Africa. And I think the hardest thing as a player is when you jump up into the international stage, everybody has a comment. Everybody talks about your technique. When I started international cricket, they talked about how far across the stumps I used to get. I used to play every ball through the leg side. Said you don't have a test career. I remember reading article after article. You don't have a test career because you got across the stumps. People just ball straight LBW. Now, for me, I was strong enough and mentally tough enough to go, well, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. I never feared failure. And I was there to accept I was going to get criticized for things that I did. But I said, stick to what you know. Stick to being simple. If I get across my stump, so what? My head's always in a good position. So I trusted my eyes and I trusted my head. We'll go back to hitting a couple more balls. Kiss the ball, kiss the ball, kiss the ball. Every time the ball comes, I'm going kiss the ball. Get as close to the ball as possible. So that's playing through the offside, that's playing front foot. Uh, hopefully I've given you a little bit of advice and a little tip or two on how to hit the, hit the ball through the offside. Just remember, it's not how, it's how many.